All right, Shalom, Shalom. This is your brother Shamak out of the Great Millstone Atlanta camp. Before I get started, I'm going to give all the glory, infinite praises unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well and oversee this tabernacle of David. And Shalom to our sincere Akim that's pushing and teaching truth across four corners of the earth. And Shalom to all you sincere believers out there. Okay, we're going to a prophecy that, you know, our rulership, the Israelite rulership that is, um, is up next, you know, rulership over the heathen, all right? Our rulership is up next, okay? And as these prophecies are fulfilled, that's, that is promised to the Israelites. That's promised to the black, Spanish, and Native Americans, okay? Who are the Israelites according to the Bible, you know? Rulership, having dominion on earth. These nations, these nations you see today will be beneath us, you know? True rulership, you, we will be able to uh, come, come into fruition of true rulership, man, according to the Bible. This is according to the Bible, all right? So let me get Revelation chapter 2, uh, verse, Revelation chapter 2, I start at verse 25, all right? Because this is, this is something, this is part of having that tone of vision. This is what, this is what's promised to the Israelites. This is the benefits, you know, of the gospel, you know? Because all the gospel is not, it's not, it's not all good news, you know? It's not, hey, these, it's a lot of rebuke. These prophecies are going to, it's a lot of evils, plagues, pestilence. That's the spoke about in the Bible, Okay. But after these things, man, our rulership is up next. You know, that's why these things happen upon Earth today, and that's and that are, are going to happen. It's gonna it's gonna be it's gonna be for the better. You know, it's gonna be better for the uh, it's gonna be for the betterment of the of the Earth in general, man. Okay, it's better for especially for the Israelites. All right, rulership, man, rulership. All right, this is uh, Revelation chapter two, verse twenty five. But that which ye have already hold fast till I come. See, what we have the wisdom, not to understanding for those sincere, for those, for the men of the Lord, okay, for the elect, you know, hold fast. We just got to hold on to it, that, that no man uh, take our crown, you know. We have it right now. You have the faith, you know, you have the wisdom, not to understanding of the scriptures. You have the spirit, you know, and hold fast to who come? Yahweh Shai, all right? This is this is letters written in red. This is Yahweh Shai speaking, okay, who the world ignorantly causes God and Jesus Christ. All right, they call it, you know, the, the most high name is Yahweh, and it's his son's name is Yahweh Shai. All right. Verse 26, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And we understand that this word is strictly to the Israelites in general. Okay. This is this word is strictly to the Israelites. All right. It says him that overcometh and, and keepeth his works to the end. We got a whole fab. It, it says uh, he that endureth to the end will be saved. You know, that's what that's part of having that tunnel vision, man. We are striving to endure to the end. Then we will we will reap the benefits of, of those works, man. And that's having power over the nations, having power over the heathens, man. We want to have them in slavery. All right. They're going to be beneath us. We won't have dominion over them. All right. Now, let me get also uh, Baruch. All right. Baruch chapter four, verse twenty five. Yeah, I'll go to verse 25. Okay. It's lucky. Boot chapter 4, verse 25. My children, suffer patiently the wrath that has come upon you from the Most High. For thy enemy hath persecuted thee, but shortly thou shalt see his destruction and shalt tread upon his neck. See, all these nations have, have definitely ruled over us, man. It's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. The Chinese, the Japanese, these Africans sold us to the white man for, for, for money and guns, you know? All these nations, the Arabs, the Arab, the Arab slave trade, you know, we hey, we're just suffering we're suffering patiently. We had a we had a a, a brother come by a camp last weekend and they was um he, he answered, so what do we do? Do we fight back? You know, and what are, and our, our direct response, you know, was what? Wait, wait ye upon the Lord, pertaining to Zephaniah chapter three, verse eight. We have to suffer patiently, as it says in this scripture here. We have to suffer patiently, man, because we understand that the, the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay, is he's a, he's in control of all things right now. And the scriptures also speak about uh, be still and know that the Most High that the, the Most High is God, man. Do you understand that Yahweh the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is the power, man? Okay, we just got to be still and have faith. All right, and, and we will see our the destruction of our enemy, man. Verse 26, my delicate ones have gone rough ways and were taken away as a flock caught of the enemies. See, we're delicate ones of the most. He's just not going to have these things happen 
and have these words written, definitely have these words written thousands of years ago and have them not be fulfilled. The scriptures say that his word does not go out void. That means these things that are written are going to come to pass, whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not. All right. Verse 27. Be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto the Most High. That's what we're doing, man. We're crying out. We're prophesying. We're saying before it happens, you know. For ye shall be remember of him that brought these things upon you. Hey, we understand that Yahweh Bashmi Yahweh brought these things upon us, man. He brought these curses upon us, okay? Not to destroy us, but to correct us, man. The scriptures speak about these scourges were sent for a mimic. Because the, cause these things that are, um, these these plagues that are coming forth, the famine, you know, the race wars and the martial law, it's coming to correct you, you rebellious children, man. You rebellious Israelites, man. You shit talkers, you mockers. You know, you prideful ones out there, man. All right? It's coming to correct you. Put that, put you right back in your uh, correct state. It's, and that's going to be most of it. The two-thirds are going to be through that second death. All right? You just, some of you just got to die, man. You're just born in vain. All right? That's just the harsh truth. That's just the truth. <laughs> all right? Verse 28, for as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek him ten times more. See, that's what we're doing now. That's what you see. That's what you see the men of the Lord doing now, man. Doing these righteous works to what? To, utter, to utterly, <laughs> you know, reap the benefits of the kingdom, man. Their rulership over the heathen. Rulership over the heathen, man. Okay? That's prophecy and it's going to happen. All right? Because, you know, we uh, right now, today, you got the Chinese game, uh, their economy flourishing or whatnot. Technology is flourishing. They're thinking they're up next. Russia thinking they're th thinking they're up next. These countries, all these countries thinking they're up next. But but ultimately, the truth is that is that the Israelites are up next, according to the Bible. The black Spanish and Native Americans scatter scatter across four corners of the earth are up next, man. And you heathen will bow to our Lord, man. You will bow to our power, and we and look, and you bow to our power. You how about Shem Shai that is? That's you bowing to us, man. Because Romans chapter eight verse thirty five speaks about. You we will be joint we will be joint heirs with Hamashiach. <laughs> you know he said his delicate ones, man. We're his children, all right. And you and you're going to see that, man. You you heathen are going to be confounded, man. You're going to be confounded, all right. This is Isaiah chapter sixty verse fourteen. The sons also also of them that afflicted thee shall come bidding unto thee, and all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. And they shall call thee the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Okay? You heathen nations, they don't have no clue or no thought. Or, of course, they're not even considering because it's not even in spirit, man. But they don't realize they're going to bow to us, man. <laughs> they're going to bow to bow to our power. They're going to bow to us at the soles of our feet. Because that's simply what the scriptures say, man. And if the scriptures say it, we believe it. All right? And it's, he's going to have it happen. All right? He's going to, hey, Yahweh Bashmi Al is going to have this happen, man. This rulership. This is part of rulership, man. All right. And I, I, I spoke about um, the heathen envying us, being jealous for, being jealous of us, because they're going to understand that we're, we're the true, we're the true children, of, we're the true children of the Most High. You know, it's one true power in His children. Okay? They're going to be jealous of that, man. This is Revelation chapter 6. It's like, this is Revelation chapter 11, verse 6. I want to go in to get that power real quick. Because this, this is why they're going to be hating on the Israelites, man. We all, You know that phrase, let your haters be your motivators, man. Okay? This is Revelation chapter 11, verse 6. These have the power to shut heaven that it rain not in the days of their prophecy and have power over waters to turn them to blood and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. And you also remember when Moses and Aaron was doing these miracles as well. Cause they, hey, that's, these these things are going to be happening again, man. John chapter fourteen verse twelve speaks about you, uh, ye that believe shall do greater works, man. We're going to do great works, man. All right, we just got to believe it. We just got to yeah, we got to actually believe it and be able to visualize it through the scriptures. That's why bringing out these prophecies have you visualize or bring bring an image in others' heads, man. In other sincere, sincere believers out there, man, you put an image in their head, and that's in this rulership on earth, okay. Because this rulership in the kingdom of heaven will be established on earth. All right, that is. Okay. We're, we're going to do power, man. We're going to have that power. We're going to be doing things often as, as we will. All right. Verse verse 7. And when they shall have finished their testimony, the beast that ascended out of the bottomless pit shall make war against them and shall overcome them and kill them. And they're dead. See, that's going to something else. All right. But I finish. I continue on. Verse 8. 
and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, being Babylon the Great, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. And you know, you can easily see this being Sodom with all this homosexuality, man. America leading the leading the world in that, man, in that aspect. And you understand it's the spiritually Egypt as well, because what? The scriptures uh Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68, speaks about I will send you into Egypt again with ships. Slave ships being this slave, slave, slave ships to where? Hey, North North America, man. Okay. All right, so this is spiritually Egypt. And I want to get also uh just a quick scripture of how these are these heathens gonna react, man. These this is exactly how these heathens gonna react. This is first Samuel chapter four, verse eight. <laughs> it reads, uh, woe unto us, who shall deliver us out of the hand of these mighty gods? Cause that's what we are, man. We're princes of the power of Yasha Allah. We're powers, man. We have power. Okay? We have power, man. We're angels, we're messengers, man. This is a strong message, right? This is the truth. You know? This is the truth, okay? That no, that people rarely have. These people don't know the truth, okay? But that's why we're here to push it, okay? And it continues on. It says, these are the gods that smote the Egyptians with all the plagues in the wilderness, okay? That's how these heathens going to react, man. And that's how they reacting back then, okay? Like, damn, they just beat the Philistines. They just beat the Egyptians, you know? You know, and that's, and that's, how, that's how they're going to react with us when we, when we had those spiritual powers, because that's going to come as well before the kingdom of heaven. You know, that's going to be the beginning of our rulership because Daniel chapter 7 verse 18 speaks about the saints shall take the kingdom. I and I get that to end it off, man. I I get that. All right. This is Daniel chapter 7 verse 18. All right. Saints being those righteous ones, man. The saints being the Israelites. Okay. This is Daniel chapter 7 verse 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Okay? This is our last captivity, man. This is not our rest. The Israelites are going to rule up next. We're up next. Okay? And we're going to live forever. No more death. At Romans chapter, I mean, it's like it, as Revelation chapter 21 verse 4 speaks about. No more death, no more sorrows, man. All right? No more going through hell, being afflicted. We've been afflicted by these heathen, man. We're going to rule over them, man. They're going to bow at the soles of our feet, as the scripture I brought up. We're going to rule over the nations. This is our prophecy. Bro, this is the, I brought it out in the, in the Old and New Testament, all right? So it's, it's, it's simple to believe, man. We made it plain upon the table. Simple, all right? It's not rocket science, man, okay? But you got to have the spirit to see it and believe it, all right? But it's going to happen regardless. That's prophecy, <laughs> you know? And it's beautiful, okay? But, you know, Lord willing, know this lesson was edifying concerning that the prophecy of the Israelites will rule over the heathen, okay? But Lord really know this lesson was edifying and exhorting for you sincere believers out there and the elect. I want to end all by giving all the glory, infinite praise unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who teach and rule well and overseas tabernacle of David. Peace, love, and safety to the hopeful, like, and their families. With that, I would like to say Shalom, Abba, Abba, Shalom.